Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about two asteroids in our solar system known as Drac and Niku. These two asteroids seem to actually create more questions than answer and they seem to be going against the flow in our solar system. We're going to speculate about why this is happening and talk about them as well. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So what you see in front of you is an asteroid uh, known as Niku and um, it's an asteroid that's located uh, just past the orbit of Neptune. It's a so-called trans-Neptunian object and I'm going to try to demonstrate to you where it actually is by enabling orbits here. Oh, and by the way, this is not a very large object. It's, um, its diameter is only about 60 kilometers. But let's actually just zoom out of it and just so I can show you where it's actually located. And, uh, and you'll notice that there's something peculiar about it specifically its orbit. Its orbit lay, lies in a very, very different sort of location to all of the other orbits in our solar system. And at first we thought, well, maybe this is just a fluke. Maybe this is just an object that seems to be, uh, might have been captured from somewhere else or got kicked out by um, a planet like Jupiter and assumed this type of an orbit for some reason or another. But then we kept finding more of these. As a matter of fact, there's at least six known objects that have a very similar orbit that is not only so highly inclined, but is also actually um, against the flow, against all of, uh, other objects. It's a retrograde orbit um, that seems to actually contradict the, the so-called um, creation theory of our solar system. And the problem he doesn't end here. The problem is that uh, we don't really have any good explanation for why this is happening and why these seem to have a very stable object um, orbit that was probably not really changed for something like uh, at least a billion years. Now this is a uh, Niku and I'm gonna show you the other asteroid known as Drac and uh, Niku is uh, an asteroid known as 2011 KT19 and Drac is the asteroid known as 2008 uh, KV42. There it is. We're going to zoom into it. Um, in the game it's a little bit farther away from Niku but in reality they're actually very close to each other be uh, because Niku here is actually in the wrong location. Um, so this is what Drac looks like. It's a little bit smaller. It's only 40 kilometers in diameter. But it, um, in this in this game he's, it's also a little bit more elongated. So its actual shape looks like this. Like a very funny looking potato. Uh, so if we were to zoom out of here. If I were to actually show it to you again, uh, the way it orbits around the sun is very, very interesting. So it does come really, really close to the orbit of Neptune, but it also seems to um, have its own sort of thing going. So it's against the flow, it's very, very highly inclined. It's also somewhat elliptical as well, if you look at it from the top here. And so that's the approach uh, close to Neptune, and then it kind of flies away and uh, meets Aries somewhere right here. Uh, now here's the interesting thing. So we found six of these and we don't exactly know why they do this. And the only two reasonable explanations we have so far are kind of actually way, way out there. Well, one of them is related to Planet Nine. This is, of course, the, the hypothesis about which we talked about a lot in this uh, on this channel in various other videos. And the idea here is that maybe it's the Planet Nine that's actually uh, pulling on these asteroids and these other bodies that create this type of an orbit. So maybe their orbit was actually influenced by Planet 9 that's located somewhere about um, over 600 astronomical units away from here, so basically like maybe this far, and its pull creates these orbits. So that's explanation number one. Explanation number two is a little bit even more peculiar. It's related to something called galactic tides. So maybe, just maybe, every time our sun orbits around uh, the central black hole and the central region of our galaxy, as it approaches the region closer, uh, the actual gravity increases and the galactic tides, the so-called galactic tides, also increase, pulling on various asteroids and causing their orbits to actually change. Now, we don't really know enough about the galactic tides or the idea of galactic tides to actually be able to predict or to even explain this sort of a phenomenon, but it's just the sort of other reasonable explanation that we have right now. Other than that, we have no idea how these uh, asteroids ended up here, why they have such a strange and unusual orbit, why they actually basically go against the flow. So while everyone is spinning this way, these guys are going the other way around. Um, and why basically 
they've been able to maintain this orbit quite stably for many, many, many millions of years, possibly even up to a billion of years. Um, so all of these questions maybe one day will be answered, but for now, we will just have to speculate and try to answer using our limited understanding of basically orbital mechanics and asteroids and uh, formation of the solar system. So we're, we're going to zoom in to drag, uh, take a last look at it, and basically finish this video here. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to, to subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys uh, learning things through video games and possibly consider supporting this channel on Patreon as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. And I'm going to actually go ahead and land on this beautiful asteroid and possibly take a walk on the surface. So because this is all procedurally generated, the surface here is going to be very, very highly detailed. And there we go. Let's take a walk. And by the way, this right there is our own planet Earth, somewhere, somewhere far, far away. At a distance of about 61 astronomical units. That is really, really far. We'll never be able to get back home now. Oh well.